Hello, Mountaineer fans. It's Friday morning, and Mike and I are here to talk about Matt McAfee. Uh, a week and a half ago, right after the Penn State game, former WVU kicker and turned media personality, went on his own podcast, went on his own show, and kind of laid into Neil Brown and the WVU football program. We were, When I saw it, we were going to talk about it at the time, but we had already recorded for that week, and well... The discourse on the message board was not something I wanted to get into. I just wanted to touch on it with Mike, um, and we're going to in a second. Let me kind of give a brief, very brief synopsis of what he said. Uh, he he kind of just went on a rant, ripping into the team and said, you know, essentially said, well, I'll, I'll leave it at this. He said, that shouldn't be how they're viewed, uh, and said, this team is crap. This team is crap. Um went on to question whether or not the current players and the team could handle the workouts that he and his teammates had when he was at West Virginia, and then called into question Neil Brown's uh, status at the school, saying it was year five and there's no reason West Virginia should be looked at as a team that, you know, if they beat Penn State, it's the biggest upset in the world. Mike, first off, is this a big deal that Pat McAfee said this stuff? I mean, that's the ESPN marquee spot in the afternoon right that's noon it's on the worldwide leader and then you have kirk herbstreet of all people the host and that's pretty much your face of college football media right now so the stage and the actors there are significant so that does matter um however chris this means exactly as much as you want it to mean it's extremely interpretive or subjective um, you can invest in what pat says and if that's your guy or if you really follow football closely, or if you're just watching his show, that's going to resonate with you. If you don't need the uh, external opinions to shape yours, you can kind of come to your own conclusion. And maybe you're on that side of the fence and it kind of solidifies the way you feel. Maybe you're on the other side of the fence and you don't like it. So it's it's really up to you how you feel. But just stepping back and looking at it, the people involved and the platform, you do not want to be blown up like that. And they did. And just put it this way, if they had beat Penn State, would you want Pat McAfee and Kirk Herbstreet talking about you in that time slot? Absolutely, you would. Which brings me to my next question. Well, it's kind of hard to say, was he right? Because he said a lot of different things in there. I don't think we need to call into question whether these players could handle workouts and stuff like that. But was he right about West Virginia University should not be viewed like this, especially in year, year five of the Neil Brown era? Yeah, you know what's interesting? Did you hear all the people who came out and disagreed with Pat? No, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. So a lot of that locker room workout stuff, I wonder about, too. There are dissenting opinions out there. This is not a monopoly of thought and mind, right? So silence is sometimes golden. It's also sometimes deafening, too. So I don't know what former players or participants are up to there. Certainly like to have some people pick up the sword and shield for West Virginia, previous iterations thereof. I don't know. But nobody did. And that kind of leads you to this. Where have things gone? Have they fallen? Has it slipped so much that West Virginia has no chance in the world to go to Penn State after an entire summer getting ready for the season and a couple of weeks getting ready for one game? Would it be out of this world for West Virginia to win? Absolutely not. Back then. Right now, 21-point underdog, Chris. I think a lot of people expected a game that went the way it did. It should not be seen as a miracle that West Virginia could beat another Power 5 team. I think it's kind of weird to call Penn State the third best team in the Big Ten. That's true. There's two really good teams in the Big Ten, right? Kind of cherry picking there. But it's point being that West Virginia beat really good teams in BCS games and some very good teams in the regular season in the past. Why is it so out of the realm of possibility now that such a thing can happen? That hurts people who were involved in it in the past, in the present, and probably in the future too.